guys, it's Monica. In this video, I am going to share with you my evening skincare routine. Before I begin, I'm 65. I can't believe I'm 65. I'm 65 years old. I'm pretty late to the skincare game. I started at 62, really using some products. I am going on my third year anniversary of Retin-A. I will insert a clip or a link here in the cards so that you can see the video that was my second year anniversary and I will also insert at one point my first year anniversary so you can follow the progress if you so choose. Anyways, almost year three, and this is not my third year update. This is simply an update on my evening skincare because many of you have requested. I did a previous video, I'll link that as well on my anti-aging skincare endeavor, mostly talking about my morning skincare. And in that video, I talked an awful lot about the new face oil that I have been using. And I also talked about the video that was removed by YouTube for mentioning that face oil. Which Interestingly enough, the other day I went to the mall and as I was walking in the mall, I saw this sign promoting CBD cream. I was like, oh, wow. And then Jay and I went to the movies the other night and we went and saw our, um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Oh my gosh, Brad Pitt, what an adorable guy. But anyways, we went and saw Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And before that, we went to Ulta. I went to Ulta while Jay sat outside. So in Ulta, look what I saw. I'm going to insert that little picture here or a little video clip. But I, you know, this is NYX. I'm actually going to go back to Ulta maybe today and try and buy this product because my setting spray that I use and uh, that I really like is NYX. I have two setting sprays that I use and I have purchased them a number of times. So it's it seems to be my favorite setting spray. I know. Um, what can I say? NYX. But anyways, so you can see CBD is being touted all over the place. In my video that was removed, I talked about using the Flora and Bast CBD face oil. And then I also talked about the Maku, M-A-K-U CBD face oil. Now, I, you can see I've used an awful lot of this. And I will tell you right now, this will be a repurchase for me. I really like this a lot. I'm going to talk a little bit about the differences. But before I really go there, I really want to make sure that you, you understand that I'm not giving skincare advice. I'm not a dermatologist, esthetician, anything of that nature at all. I'm just a 65 year old woman, much like you, always on a budget, you know, trying to make my money go wisely in that sense, you know, taking care of my skin and anti-aging. And I know that the best anti-aging effort is definitely the holy grail and, and that would be Retin-A for me. Um, but that's definitely a holy grail and I have a second holy grail. And that second holy grail, since I've been using this, I figured out that it was the end of June that I bought it. I bought the Florin Bast. Since I've been using the CBD oil, that has definitely knocked every oil out of the pitcher as far as I'm concerned, and that's become my holy grail as well. So, you know, everyone's skin is different. You need to seek the advice of a skincare specialist that you trust that you, and you need to do your own research. You know, you need to be your own advocate when it comes to your skin, just like you do for your health. You cannot just blindly rely on what a YouTuber says or what even your doctor says, unfortunately. Isn't that sad that we're in a world where we can't even believe our doctors fully? Every doctor has a different opinion. Every dermatologist has a different opinion, for sure. So what am I doing? This is my evening skincare routine. I'm going to try to be brief, and I know it probably went on and on and on. But I wash, usually I do a double or a triple wash at night, and I usually will you know, kind of like wet my skin and I, I have been using, and I talked about this in, this is the Clean It Zero. I really like this a lot and a couple of you have said, try the Physician's Formula, the Perfect Match, I think it's called the Perfect Matcha. So I went and I bought it because everyone said it was just as nice as this, if not better, and it was cheaper. Well, it is cheaper, but it is also significantly smaller in size so that the price difference between the Zero that I bought off of Amazon and the Physician's Formula that I got at Target 
the size difference and the price difference, they, it's, they neutralize each other because you get significantly more in this product. They're both very good. I like them both a lot. I, I uh, would highly recommend this if you just want to buy in Target. If you want to go to Amazon, I would highly recommend this. I really like this. I think the Zero product uh, for Clean and Zero, it was Mylene Fab and Glam that first had mentioned this to me eons ago, and I didn't buy it until more recently. So these are my deep cleansers, and I also got sent to me by Oculus, and this is Eve Lom, and I really really like this this is a cleansing balm it came with a white muslin cloth it's in the bathroom because I do use this and this is really really nice it's very luxurious it's 80 some odd dollars 11 I think 18 or something like that 80 and I will tell you this is extremely luxurious I will continue to use it it is a beautiful 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 product but I would not rebuy it. I don't think that's significantly enough of a difference between this to this that would make me want to spend the money on something like this. It's beautiful though, and I appreciate that I was it was sent to me. I love it. It does a great, great job. Got all my makeup off, but so did the Clean It Zero. So anyways, so that is typically a nightly routine for me. I have to take everything off, including my eye makeup. Oftentimes, I will go in. I was really lucky that last time I bought this Nip and Fab, I found it in TJ Maxx. But I'll go in with the Nip and Fab. This is a sort of a glycolic um, pad, cleansing pad. And so I'll, I'll do that and, you know, clean. I, I still I use my CeraVe. And this is the hydrating facial cleanser. So after the first with the balm, I usually do this. And then when I've got it all cleaned off and I'm satisfied I'll use my nip in fab or I will use the glycolic the ordinary glycolic toner now I have this I'm going to continue to use this I probably quite frankly will not continue to purchase it after this is empty but I continue to use this not every night you know most of the time I'm using this and it's a good combination so when my skin is totally clean and dry totally clean and dry. In the evening, I go in with the higher dose of the CBD oil, the Makoko. You need to know your ingredients before you jump and buy any of this, but this is a 5,000 milligram dosage bottle. So the best I can explain it is if there's 10 doses, if one dropper is, is full and there's 10 dropper fulls, you are not getting, if you put two to three drops on your hands and you pat it on your face, you're not getting 5,000 milligrams. You're not getting 300 milligrams in, in the floor and bass. Either you're getting a lot less. So just bear in mind that just because it says it's 5,000, that's not what you're putting on your face. So I normally, after my face, my skin has dried, I will take the, this is nighttime. I like this, this is very rich. This is the 5,000 milligrams. So I'm not, I haven't been using this at the daytime at all. I'm going, and then I tap probably three drops, maybe four, and I put this, I go close to my eye, I go here, I put this in my trouble spots, you know, and then after I have it first applied to my trouble spots, then I will tap it in and try to go around as much as possible. Typically, it spreads beautifully. It, it, it's very, it's a very slick, it's, spread, it's very spreadable, and then I let that settle in for a little bit, not a whole long time. It all depends on my time frame. And what I have been doing, I, I want to, I have a thing of uh, the ordinary niacinamide. I want to use it up. I really have hardly ever used it lately, but I'm going to be trying to really use that niacinamide up on my nose just to empty the bottle. But typically what I have been doing is after I apply my CBD face oil, and like I said, this is my second holy grail in my skincare. I will then go in very shortly afterwards and I will apply my Retin-A. I have finished, and you'll see that in my empties video, my 1% gel that I bought. And I have, I'm using a tretinoin cream 1% that was gifted to me from one of you lovely subscribers quite a while ago. And I've been using the cream compared to the gel. Both of them are really nice. I think the gel probably spreads better, but the cream is perfect. So I've got quite a bit of the 1%. I take this and I put it 
pretty well, you know, all over my face. I'm not too worried about having a tiny dab, you know. I'm pretty generous with it. I will take it and put it all over my face every other night rather than the, this or every third night I have been using the hydroquinone this is the trillium this is the tretinoin this is the tretinoin with the hydroquinone I know it's not going to show but I've been trying I've been pretty well doing this like maybe every second or third night in place of the retin-a and I've been focusing when I use that here where my brown spots are when I'm driving I have some really and this is the this side of my face is the worst side of my face and I have a lot of wrinkles and I have a lot of brown spots, age spots there. So I've been, you know, putting it close there and here. And sometimes when I'm using this, if I need a little bit more, I have some pure 5% um, and I will just add the rest of it to the rest of my face for my Retin-A. I've been, I've been upping my game of Retin-A to about six nights a week, five to six nights a week. And I had dropped down significantly because I had such a massive peeling problem and it was really hard to go to work looking like a, uh, a snake losing its skin or something. <laughs> so anyways, uh, after, I, after I apply my Retin-A, this is usually one of the last things I'm doing at night. I no longer put any kind of an oil or any kind of a cream. I was always using my... I have my B-Venom cream. I haven't even added my B-Venom cream since I've been using this. Now, I may add it back in just to finish it, but I don't feel I need it. So I have stuff that I'm going to continue to use because I want to finish them, but not necessarily because I need them. So it's my, my Stasha Retin-A and my CBD oil. These are my two Holy Grail skincare. Granted, short term so far since the end of June using the CBD, but going on three years using the Retin-A makes a huge difference. After I've done that, every other night I use on my eyelashes, I have been using my Blink Eyelash Serum every other night. I sanitize this, I put my little brush in, I put a drop in here, and I put it just like eyeliner on clean, clean eyelash, no makeup on, nothing oily on my eyes. I put this on, and I really, really like that. I believe my eyelashes have really done fantastic with Blink. Not only are they longer, they're thicker, they, they're darker in their natural state. So I, this is a holy grail for me for eyelashes. I really like it. On the nights that I'm not using the Blink, I use black castor oil, and I will use my black castor oil along my lashes just to give them a nice deep conditioning. I don't really think it's making my lashes grow, but it's really hard for me to tell because I use my Blink. I just think that it's good deep conditioning of your lashes, and I also use it on my brows. I've not noticed any difference on the growth of my brows, unfortunately. I've not noticed, and some people say, oh yeah, they've, it's filled in for them. I've not noticed any of that at all for my brows. Then when I'm done that, after I have my eyelash serum, I take a Q-tip. Yes, I still use this, guys. I take a Q-tip and I take a little tiny dab on the edge of this, on my Q-tip, and I just put it on the inner corners of my fat pockets. Now, if I really wanted to, I could put it down here on my jowls, but you know what? I, know, I just put it on the inner corner of my eyelids on my fat pockets. I believe that it has helped the, and I still have those fat pockets. I mean, you can definitely see them, you know, but I believe it has helped those fat pockets reduce so that they're really not as dramatic. So this to me, I use almost every single night. I don't use it in the morning, but I use it almost every single night. So at that point in time, the very last thing that I might do is my Olay Pro Eye Retinol. And I put that on my deep wrinkles. Because I don't take my Retin-A and go up there. I put this on my deep wrinkles. I really like that. And then from that point on, I do whatever hair oil I have. I won this in a giveaway. I think it was Mary Ellen after 60 a long time ago, I won this. This is the KK Naturals Hair Oil Excel. I'm still using this hair repair. I, I'm almost out. I put it in and I put it all over my natural hair. I don't go to my scalp. I just put it all over my natural hair. I really like that a lot. I've been using it for a while. I also use the Marula hair oil. I don't know that there is a significant improvement from the Kikkei hair oil elixir. I don't know. 
but the marula oil that I use on my hair helps for the shine and supplement, you know, supplements sort of like, especially when my hair feels dry, you know, I put that on and it just, my hair feels really, really good. I also have the ordinary hair oil that I bought a long time ago. I'm almost out. I won't be rebuying it. I really, I, I really, these are lovely. I like how they feel, but I really have not noticed for me any huge difference in my hair since I've been using that. And the, and the marula oil is completely different than those two oils. Those you can put down into your hair and deeper with the marula oil. I'm just looking to add a little bit of a boost of the shine to the ends and all that stuff. I think I mentioned everything that I wanted to talk about in my evening routine, I hope. And if I forgot something, I apologize. But that is my evening routine in a nutshell. My holy grail is my CBD oil. Uh, obviously this, you know, now I may drop down onto the dosage. They have this in a couple of different dosages. This is the 5,000 milligram bottle is expensive. I kid you not. It is extremely expensive. This was sent to me. And I think once I started talking about CBD, I got all these CBD things sent to me. I have another roll on cream that was sent to me that Jay has been using, but I might drop down to the lower dosage to put all over my face, but this is perfectly fine for me to put all over my face. But for some reason, I've been having such a good luck with this, and I know it's granted it's a lot lower dose, but I'm going to continue to use the Florin Bass. I really, I really do like it. And in conjunction with this during the day, which is a, a lighter consistency, and it plays really super nice with my makeup super super nice with my makeup in the morning you know I put my sunblock on then I'll put whatever makeup I'm wearing for the day and I, I since I've been doing this stuff I've had no well I shouldn't say no I have had some retin-a flaking I have but it's been it's been such a minor thing I mean you know where I would like oftentimes have skin just hanging <laughs> so, so gross. I haven't had anything like that so I'm not going to tout the rest of the stuff with this, with the uh, CBD oil, whatever CBD oil you want to try on your face. Just make sure you know the difference between the CBD oil and just the regular hemp oil because you can buy that anywhere, um, in any product, you know, anywhere. It's all over the place. So just notice that, just make sure you know there's a difference. But this is basically taken the place of every face oil I have. I... And it's, it's actually where I would have to do touch-ups with the squalene. This, when I do this in the morning, I don't have to go back and touch up at all. It's like, it's been, it's been a real, really amazing. So that's my evening routine in a nutshell. I, it may sound more complicated than it is, but it really isn't. And I'm working my way through products so that I know I'm not going to repurchase certain things. You know, my ordinary, the squalene, um, the carrot oil, you know, I really have loved, loved, loved the carrot oil for the Andy. Oh, this is really good. I think it was Susan Little Poet that turned me on to this. I really like this, but I don't need it. I don't need any of those other oils anymore. So anyways, guys, I know this is probably long and rambling. Thank you all so much for joining me. And I hope you found this video helpful, informative, and whatever you do, make sure you are your own skincare advocate and do what you know or what you feel is right for you. So have a great, great day. And thank you all so much for being here with me. Oh, and if you haven't already, please subscribe.